Hey guys, it is Spooky Noodles. I am here with a... Well, I'm gonna do two things today. I'm gonna finish off that book haul I had where I ordered some stuff on, on uh, online and, and I found some stuff at Salvation Army. So this will be book haul part three plus a collection. Um, it's a pretty decent collection. Um, I am missing one book from the collection. I'm not sure how far this series has gone. But we'll get into it when I get into it. First, I want to talk about the first book that I received in the mail, which uh, is The Thief of Always by Clive Barker. Now, I was going to get this in a collection or uh, a uh, hardback cover in Tony Bacon's auction on Books of Horror doc, uh, Facebook page. And um, I found this online for like a dollar, so with you know four dollars shipping so five dollars total and uh thought i'd get it so i got it um and it's in pretty great shape there's like pictures in here which is pretty cool um i hear great things about um five barker and this is his i from what i hear this is his attempt at a ya novel but I'm not sure how YA it is. Um, if it's YA, then I'm not going to be that interested in it. But it's Clyde Barker, so I'm very interested in it. So um, I'm not sure how to feel about this book. You know, um, I got a piece of hair on my hat, don't I? Wow, that was a long piece of hair, too. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this or not. Um, it's got a really, really long uh, synopsis here, which... Uh, well, let's just read it because it's going to be a pretty quick video, so I'll read it for you. Mr. Hood's Holiday House has stood for a thousand years, welcoming countless children into the, its embrace. It is a place of miracles, a blissful round of treats and seasons, where every childhood whim may be satisfied. There is a price to be paid, of course, but young Harvey Swick, bored with his life and beguiled by Mr. Hood's wanders, I'm saying that weird does not stop to consider the consequences it is only when the house shows its darker face when Harvey discovers a pit pitiful creature that dwells in the shadows that he comes to doubt Mr. Hood's philanthropy philanthropy I, I, that's a hard word to say to y'all the house and its mysterious architect are not about to release their captive without a battle however mr hood has ambitions mr hood has ambitions for his new guest for harvey's soul burns brighter than any soul he has encountered in a thousand years so that's the thief of always this is a coming of age story and um i usually don't like books with you know um this is gonna sound weird but uh here's one picture I don't usually like books with pictures. I kind of, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I'm, I've kind of grown out of books with pictures in a sense. But uh, this one might be cool. Um, I also have another book with pictures in it. Um, oh, if I can reach it. <laughs> That's Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book, which is also a coming of age novel, if it's a novel. Um, this is for ages 10 and up, so it's definitely a YA. But uh, I didn't know it was a YA when I picked it out. But uh, it's a coming of age story and I might have to read it anyways. Um, but uh, as you can see, there's some images in here. Uh, they're not as good as Clive Barker's images. I think Clive Barker did his own, but, but I'm gonna give that a read back over here. But yeah, that's The Thief of Always by Clive Barker. That's one book I got, and it's in pretty good shape. Um, then next is another coming of age story. Um, I've never heard of this author, but when I posted that I was ordering this book on Books of Horror, I heard a bunch of people say how good this author is. So now I'm a little hyped to read it. Um, and that is Come 13 by David Silva. See that 
cool cover with the wings and the talons going into his chest. You can't really see it, but there's blood coming down. Cascading down his chest. You can't really see it, though. So let me read the back for you guys, and then we can discuss it a little bit more. The world had been keeping a secret from 13-year-old Todd Foster. A secret darker than the pits of hell. But the time of revelation was drawing near. The time Desiree had been waiting for so impatiently. The boy was old enough now. Old enough to learn his purpose. Old enough to serve her needs. She lusted for his body, hungered for his very soul, and yearned to make him part of her. If she succeeded, the world would be enslaved in everlasting torture. If she failed, she'd make sure Todd Foster joined her in a fate more terrible than death. Huh. That sounds very, very interesting. Um, Come 13 is by David Silva. Um, it says, his youthful innocence was the ultimate sacrifice to ancient evil. And this it says in the top, author of Child of Darkness. I've never read that book either by him. It's a leisure fiction horror. So I, I don't know if that matters to any of you. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a first printing. Um, and it says here the only other book by David Silva was Child, Child of Darkness. So this is one of his earlier novels. Um, yeah, this is a first printing. Um, I thought it said Billie Eilish for some reason. I was like, Wait, what? <laughs> um, but I'm very, I'm looking very forward to reading this. Um, I don't know if it starts off with a prologue. Yeah, it does. Then it gets into part one. Um, but I'm very looking for, I'm very looking for, I'm looking very forward to reading this book. Um, when I'm going to get around to it, I don't know. It's going into the TBR. Um, it's probably going to be right under, it's going to be in definitely in front of Mark Morris's, uh, uh, the, uh, horror club, which I don't get me wrong. I really want to read Mark Morris's horror club, but I've also heard some things about it, which make me a little weary of reading it right away. So I'm going to give it a shot, but I'm going to give it a shot later on. Um, so this book is definitely going in front of that book. Um, but I'm not sure where in the TBR exactly. Um, I'm probably going to slip it in the middle of the, and same with the Thief of Always. I might read this one sooner because it looks like it reads fast. That's at least what I hear a lot of. I mean, it is a pretty decent book. I mean, for me, it's a decent book, 267 pages. 267 pages um but i loved clyde barker's hellbound heart i thought it was a very great tale and i loved the horror of it all um i've never seen the movie still the hellraiser excuse me movie but uh looking forward to reading these two books that i got in the mail recently um but yeah, that's my little book haul. Um, it's only two books, so that's why we're also going to do a collection video. So the collection video is simple. If you ever heard of uh, the best horror of the year series, if you haven't, then you should definitely check it out. I personally have not read it yet but I'm looking forward to reading it. There are some good authors in these books. I can't recall, we'll go through them and I'll tell you what authors are in each book. And I won't tell you all of the authors, just the, the highlighted authors in the front cover. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure if there's synopsis on the back or not. I'm not sure if you wanna be reading those in anthologies, um, for anthologies, I'm not sure. But uh, the whole theme of these books are just, collected stories from authors fr from a certain year um and i don't own the first one or if i do own it i don't know where it is but um i do have however volume two of the best horror of the year and it's all edited by ellen dalto 
or dot dot low dot low my bad I'm I'm uh, looking at my video and it's all backwards so I'm, I my dyslexia has really affected that sorry about that but it's dat low um, there is definitely a synopsis on the back but it's very long so I'm just gonna tell you the who uh, is featured in in this uh, anthology Nina Allen La La Laird Baron Susie McKee Charnas Steve Duffy, Glenn Hirsch, you know what? Well, Stephen Graham Jones, that's a big one. But I'm just going to show it to you guys. There you go. Pretty cover. A really pretty cover, actually. I like the artwork. Um, and yeah, that's the first one. This is... Well, that was the second one, the volume two. This is volume three. And, um, Stephen Graham Jones, Cody Goodfella, or Fellow, Joe R. Lansdale, and other people. So, yeah. Next is volume five. Wait. Where's four? I don't have four. Oh no, where did four go? Okay, I'm missing four. I don't know where on earth number four went. Um, it's somewhere around here. I own four. I know that one for sure. But this is five. And um, Ramsey Campbell is the only one I really recognize on here. That's a really cool cover. I own number one, I, I own number four for sure, volume four. In fact, I think I see it. It might not be it, but I think I see it over there, but I don't want to get up right now. Maybe I after the video, if, if it is it, then I will add it at the end of the video. Probably not though. But uh, this one is volume six, and this is my favorite cover. You got that bug-like monster, and you got the guy down here. That is so Lovecraftian right there. And uh, Simon Clark, I've heard of him before. Um, Kim Newman sounds familiar too. And Connor Williams, I think, was in another one of these books. But yeah, those are the names. All right, next is uh, volume seven. And uh, Stephen Graham Jones, once again, is in this one. Um. That's the only name I recognize, though. And that's a pretty cover as well. All these have pretty covers. This is probably my second favorite cover. Um, it's a little dusty. That's why I just brushed it off. Neil Gaiman and Stephen Graham Jones are in this one. Oh, and Adam Neville or Nivel. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, it's either Nivel or Neville or Neville. Neville or Neville. I like Neville better, so I'm going to go with... Adam Neville and there it is there's the authors in this one I like this cover a lot it just looks very creepy um these are all by nightshade books by the way um it's a New York publisher it says uh the cover art uh it does sell you the cover art <sighs> well I maybe I'll go back through it uh, probably not all right, next is volume nine. And this one has uh, Adam uh, Neville, Peter Straub, Brian Hodge, Christopher Golden. So it has some pretty big names in this one. So as they went on, they got bigger names. And then this is the last one I own that I know of. I might have an 11, I'm not sure. I don't even know if they made an 11. If they did and they're still going, that's awesome. Maybe one day I'll be featured in their work. This one has Stephen Gallagher, who I've heard of before. Brian Hodge. Um, Mark Morris. He wrote The Horror Club. But yeah. And there's some other authors there. Pretty cool cover as well. So that is the collection that I own. Volumes... Uh, one to three, then four to, uh, or one through three, then five to, uh, uh, 
11. Wait a minute. Oh no, 10. My bad. 10. Uh, 5 through 10 and 1 through 3. A missing number f or 2 through 3. 2 and 3. How am I supposed to word this? <laughs> 2 and 3 and then I own 5 through 10. I own number 4 but I'm not sure where it is at the moment. I even might own number 1. This might not even be all of them. Uh, I might have more copies at least maybe 3. Um, I just don't know where they could be at the moment. I've pretty much got all my books out of the storage unit. Um, I don't think I have any more books, um, that I can't find. If I, if, wherever the books may be, uh, they're gone now. Um, number one, I might have taken out of the stack. And number four, I might have taken out of the stack and read them. Like, started reading them. Um, I think number four had a pretty cool cover, so that's why I had that one. Number one, I'm not sure if I ever owned it though. Um, if I did, I would have taken it out of the stack and read it. Um, I think number four had a cool cover and that's why I wanted to start off with it, but I can't remember. But uh, yeah, that's my book haul in my collection video. These are the book haul books. Just in case you somehow missed it. I don't know how you would, but these are the two coming of age novels that I'm excited about. And I don't really want to do this it's probably gonna fall on me it's already falling on me I haven't even picked it up yet Ugh. Mm, there we go get it in screen there we go I just wanted to know is anyone else into these uh, books um if you are and you want them let me know I'm not sure how interested I am in in keeping them um I'm doing a really big clean out of my books right now I'm finding books that I know I'm never going to read and I'm selling them like I just sold all my ghost uh, ghost bumps goosebumps books um I never thought I'd sell them and it pains me to sell them because uh part of me really wanted to hold on to them um, if I ever have a kid of my own one day, I want them to read them, you know? But uh, I decided to sell them after some time thinking about it. I, I just feel like like someone else could get more joy out of them than I have because they're just sitting in a box in my closet and uh, I don't want them to get, you know, deteriorate, you know? They're really nice copies of Goosebumps, so it deserve, they deserve to go to a better home. I got a few nibblers. Uh, I'm selling them online for 90 bucks uh, for like, like they're two a piece. So uh, I'm selling them for like, <laughs> I'm trying to do the math here. Um, 45 books total, Goosebumps books total maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. It's two dollars per book. Um, Ninety dollars total. I already sold five um, books, and then I have someone that wants two people who want um, the rest. So, I'm trying to work out deals at the moment, um, but it's kind of a hit in the heart right now. It's not a bad thing because I need the money for books that I want that I know I'm going to read. Um, and I'm actually in an auction right now and I realize how far behind I am in money and I'm kind of scared about how much this auction total is going to be. Um, I don't think it's going to be that high. I have a credit of $65 for the auction and then I just sold Stephen King books for 20 bucks. So I have around $85 to spend or $87 to spend. Um, probably over that cap. But we'll see um but uh yeah um <clears throat> that's my uh, collection of the best of the year horror anthology and then my coming of age tb or uh not coming of age tbr my book haul which is happens to be coming of age books and i uh yeah let me just end this here um because i'm starting to ramble at this point 
and we're almost at 20 we are at 20 minutes so i hope you have a great day and a spooky night i'll see you in the next video bye guys